Aaron, the Bible said, had two sons and they made sacrifices with Aaron. But one particular day, Aaron was not there and the son decided that they would go in and make a sacrifice without Aaron. They said, we'll do this all by ourselves and we don't need Aaron to make no sacrifice. So the Bible said that when, when Aaron got back and he saw the fire that the sun was burning, they had made a sacrifice, but the fire was producing a strange fire. Come here, man, let's preach a little while. The Bible records in the midst of, of that fire that God calls the fire to come down and burn the altar that the sons had made. Uh, what are you saying, preacher? I'm saying anytime you do anything without the authority that God has placed in your life, that you're just like those sons, that you're doing something, and what you're producing is a strange fire. You're producing a fire that God cannot stand. The Bible said because they decided to do something outside of the authority that was given to them, that God sent the fire from heaven to destroy their sacrifice. Talk to your neighbors and neighbor, what are you producing? Are you producing a strange fire because you're not submitted to the chosen spiritual authority that God has set in your life? I don't care, I don't care if you don't like who they are. I don't care, I don't care. God did not ask you to submit to the man. But God asks you to submit to the spirit yes, in the man. Yes. Then look at your neighbor and say, neighbor, you need to get yourself together and change your outlook about the authority that God has placed in your life. That God has placed that man so he can bring good to you. God has placed that man so he can help bring the vision to pass for you. But without the authority of God, you are without vision, without the authority of God, you are without compass, without the authority of God, you are without hope. Look at your neighbors and neighbors. I'm changing my outlook. I'm bringing myself under subjection. And I'm going to obey God in the man that he has appointed to be over my life. Look at your neighbors and neighbors. You might get mad, but you better be loyal. You might get angry, but you better be faithful. What are you trying to say to us? That self-exaltation is nothing but the principles of the devil. I think I gotta land my plane. It's time to go home now. The Bible says that the enemy exalted himself and he thought he was God. He tried to be God and said, I'll sit up my throne. I'll have power of my own. Yeah, yeah. But God got mad at him and stripped him of his beauty and then stripped him of his throne. Shame neighbor, whoever God put in your life, just submit to it and obey God and watch God move in a mighty way. I say watch God move in a miraculous way. What are you saying, preacher? I've never seen the righteous for Satan. Lord, a seed begging for bread. When you are submitted to who God told you to submit to, God said, whatever you ask in my name, I'll give it to you. But if you're somewhere you're not supposed to be, I'll take the gift away from you and put it in somebody else's hand and let you watch it prosper. I'll make you submit to the very people you were supposed to be over. Shop your neighbors and neighbors. You still got time to get your people.
beauty back. You still got time to get your glory back. You still got time to get your honor back. Whatever you want in your life, bring it under authority. Whatever you need, I'm right in your finances. Just bring it under authority. If you're struggling financially, then give the tithe and the offering. And then back door with a love offering. So you set appointed one. And watch God take a little and turn it into much. Say, neighbor, change your outlook. And watch your year. Watch your season. Watch your moment. Watch your time. Be right. Now, Satan is the substance of things hoped for and the evidence of things not seen. We promise you, let's go in, let's come in out. He promise you, bless in the city and bless in the field. But you gotta first acknowledge him in all of your ways. And he You have been listening to Bishop Sid D. Johnson of Impact Christian Church of Austin. We pray you were blessed by this message and look forward to seeing you this Sunday at 11 a.m. or this Wednesday at 7.30 p.m. We are located at 1409 River Birch Way, Pflugerville, Texas, 78660. For more information about our ministry, you can contact us at 512-937-2432 or email us at impact. CC Austin at gmail.com. Come and rethink what is possible with us at Impact Christian Church. God bless.